Radhe Radhe everyone, today I have invited Shivesh Kumar who recently has cracked a Power BI developer role at Capgemini which is a big multinational company you all know. We will discuss about his journey so far, his job hunting strategies which helped him to get the interview calls, all the important interview questions related to Power BI SQL which he has gathered so far and also the salary which one can expect uh, in the market right now. So this video will be very much helpful and beneficial for you so stay tuned till then. Alright, let's start the video and before that please do like this video it really motivates me to bring multiple videos for you all. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on Instagram learn with gigs. Okay Shivish, uh, can you introduce yourself first? Yeah, first of all, thank you for bringing me here and it has been a wonderful uh, journey while uh, viewing your video on uh, YouTube and now having a session with you. So uh, yeah, starting from my introduction, uh, as you all know, my name is Shivesh Kumar and I have been uh, selected as a consultant in Capgemini. Uh, coming to my background, I come from uh, town called as Hajipur from Bihar and I have done my um, matriculation and intermediate from there and then I have done my BTEC in computer science and engineering from lovely professional university Punjab uh, after that I got an internship opportunity in uh, Cognizant Chennai so I visited there I had that opportunity and post that I joined as a program analyst training in Cognizant itself for past uh, four years and few months I have worked in uh, Cognizant itself uh, uh, predominantly in Power BI and SQL and other related text texts as well so this whole journey has been all together about data for me uh, from college to this organization and this industry I have been working with the data uh, itself so I love learning and uh, sharing with the others as well okay so how many interviews you gave as an experienced candidate so I have uh, not given much interview I only have four or five interviews uh, coming uh, two or three from the service organization one from financial institution and one from uh, big four as well and how did you get those interview calls what particular strategies helped you from the starting point we all have been looking into Nokri and I have done the same as well but besides the Nokri as well I have been uh, looking into other portals as well like indeed and through LinkedIn as well I try to uh, get and apply so my strategy was other than Nokri so go into career job sites of the organization as well which I want to join I have applied directly from there and uh, I have get in touch with some recruiter as well as recruiters some uh, recruit, uh, recruitment agency has this capability like has the knowledge and details about the openings as well they directly hire so I have uh, I have get in touch with them as well now tell us Shivesh how was your interview experience at Capgemini what all things were discussed how many rounds happened okay uh, so it began with uh, like the first first one was the screening that happened uh, itself uh, so it was not an interview first of all it was a screening from the HS but yeah this this was a crucial time as well like what what I need to answer what are the things we need to mention that uh, that was the thing we should always take care of so this was the first uh, step the another step was the level one interview of the technical so my uh, technical interview most of the uh, questions were comprised of power bi and few of them from the SQL as well and after few days after post clearing the my level one i have gone uh, for the level two in the level two it was uh, most uh, of the question were from uh, uh, the project experience the experience i have uh, you can call it techno managerial so we have the question from uh, the technology combined with uh, the thought process behind uh, you put the project execution so that was the level two post that we had a discussion uh, on uh, the salary okay uh, now can you also let the audience know what all important interview questions are there which one should prepare uh, from power bi and sql side as well as from the managerial round side which you have gathered so far from your all the uh, multiple interview experiences can you share the screen and show the audience okay so as i mentioned earlier as well we had round one mostly focused on tech and approach and the logic 
so my uh, one of the question that was common across all the interviewer was row level security a person who has experienced about four or uh, five years he or she should know uh, all about row level security what is like what are the complication as well so what are the challenges you might face and uh, like different types dynamic and static and how can we implement with different uh, methods so that i would recommend coming to uh, this second question that we get a scenario like to get a total sales uh, for selected month and the previous two months as well so once we select so this was question related to uh, a slicer kind of based of thing or uh, in within a table if we have a, a current month uh, total sales we don't want only this month sales we want the previous two months sales as well included in that so total three months sales uh, we would be having there coming to uh, we have data modeling uh, data modeling is one of the important factor that we should be uh, taking care of so we should be uh, uh, looking into fact and dimension star schema versus snowflake and the joint type and the co uh, cardinality it belong to what it does and what are the factor that uh, is affecting our data model uh, we have difference so this dex function all all selected except and selected value these all are um, uh, for for a fresher or a, or a, for a seasoned experience as well so they might have uh, challenges in sometimes in implementing it so the interviewer focused on this as well so we should be looking into this uh, we have m language and tech so it's better uh, that we know uh, more about m language we are sure we uh, like we most of the time we use dex but we leave uh, m language so it's better that we learn more about m language as well and we did a comparative analysis between dax and uh, for an m language we have merge and append so this is also one of the confusing part as well within the power query sometimes a uh, uh, person get confused with that merge and append so this we should be preparing for this as well we have row level and filter concept this is most important i would say because uh, uh, most of us uh, we know that okay how things work but we don't know that if it is a row context or a filter context so it should be uh, understanding uh, which function works uh, in which context we have running sum so this is uh, like generic one we have this questions uh, like running sum and nth highest value so this is important one where based on uh, selected value uh, uh, we should be uh, getting the uh, the rank this is like most of the question which are from power bi and was asked in round two so coming to the sql important questions we have here as well we have running sum and cumulative total or uh, it is called as cumulative total or rolling sum as well the uh, interviewer might ask in some other way but it would be the same logic and then we have the nth uh, highest or the low uh, nth highest or lowest value so we have uh, certain uh, certain things uh, certain uh, different approach we can use like window function sub query and limit uh, we should be knowing all that and discussing with the interviewer so interviewer would be impressed if you share more than one uh, way of doing the same thing coming to our third question we have the joint type so this is uh, this for this question especially uh, the interviewer is looking for how you understand the joints works now we have a input table as a team uh, and this in this question we have uh, this this question was asked for one of the uh, organization as well where we have team id and the team name and they wanted to output as uh, this particular scenario what is the difference between delete truncate and drop so this is uh, one of the uh, confusing part as well for sql so most of the candidate get confused in this we should be knowing this with a good example as well where to you implement this delete truncate and drop check for duplicate and how to remove them this is a common question checking for duplicate but how to remove them so this is a, a little bit new for me when i was preparing it got for me so we can prepare for the same as well and we have a normalization and it's important it's like a basic concept for our database uh, sql but uh, we should be knowing it as it is involved both in uh, sql and in power bi uh, data modeling as well coming to our uh, round three or the project experience 
understanding of the roles and responsibility so i was asked question like uh, recent project and your role in it different data sources that i have used for the project for power bi we can have the question related to your uh, real life scenario or the scenario or to understand uh, how you will um, handle the pressure or how will you handle a project development sometimes we have a last minute change how would you handle and other otherwise if you have a additional requirement suddenly came from a user so how would you handle it this scenario should be known as per your experience you should be sharing as well we have another scenario where you need to coordinate with different team members on a working on different requirement for the same report how would you handle so you should be having the if you have a experience you can mention or if you have a some thought uh, how we can handle it you should be sharing on this part so thank you so much shivesh for sharing these important questions which you have gathered so far people can take a note of it and they can also be prepared for their upcoming interviews uh, so shivesh uh, now if we discuss about the salary of a power bi developer considering your experience range how much a person can expect salary in this current market situation so it's based on the current uh, current uh, the current package you have the current ctc you have so it would be around uh, uh, 12 to 18 lpa you would get as a uh, experienced guy for 5 years okay shivesh uh, thank you so much for sharing your complete journey so far and all the important uh, things that you have gathered so far uh, people will definitely get a lot of insights from it thank you